All right, everyone, this is a little different from our normal content, but Tara's sister and our nephew Gus is in town and he wanted to go see Mario World at Universal Studios, so we're at Universal Studios. We're gonna do some fun stuff. Come along and let's do stuff. I'm Tara. That's Lucas. We're on a quest for new adventures and great food. Come along with us as we explore our incredible world. Opened as a movie studio in 1912 and an amusement park in 1964, Universal Studios is the oldest Hollywood film studio still in active use, and it's one of the top 10 most visited theme parks in the world. After parking in one of the parking structures, prepare to walk about a quarter mile to the front gate through Universal City Walk, an outdoor mall. So walking from the parking to the entrance to the park, you gotta go through, what is this called? Universal, Universal City Walk. City Walk. Yep. And, they go uh, hard. And run through water and stuff. <laughs> There you go. Oh, cute. <laughs> Welcome to Springfield. All these years I've waited, I finally made it to Springfield. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta get a picture of this. Are you easy or sleazy? I'm too sleazy. What do you think? I'm sleazy. I'm sleazy. <laughs> What's going on? We're gonna have a classic Homer moment and get a big pink donut. Donuts. Oh. What do you got there? A donut. What kind of donut? A big pink donut. That's a huge donut. <laughs> I want to eat it. 
Tara, will you put your hand there for a uh, scale? That's... That's a big ass donut. So, uh, yeah. Here, I'll hold it in the middle, and then you guys can take bites off the side, right? That's pretty good, huh? That's delicious. Okay. Yeah. You know what's weird? It tastes like a donut. It does taste like a donut. Mm. It's actually really good. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. How much how much was this big ass donut? Ten dollars. Yeah. That's not that bad, right? So the only drawback of the donut is it's turned your tongue pink. That's a plus! <laughs> this is Max's introduction. Everybody say hi to Max. Hi Max. Hey guys. Hi. Jenna, who is Max? Max is the boyfriend. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you got a beer just a second ago? Yep. Did you get that? Is that a Duff beer? It's a Duff beer. It's a Duff beer. From over at uh, Suds McDuff's I Hot Dog House. How is it? <laughs> To me, it tastes like a PBR. It's stuff like. It's got, it's got some color to it. Yeah. A few moments later. Wow. All right, we just finished the Simpsons ride. The, whoa. That was really cool. Disorienting. I think it used to be Back to the Future. Yep. Put in the comments if I'm right or wrong. Um, but wow, it shakes you around a lot. And it's uh, pretty trippy. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, but I think about 45 seconds in, I was like, I'm ready for this to be over. I highly recommend. You enjoyed it, huh? Yeah. Nice. All right, onward. We're walking and we're talking. All right, next stop is the studio tour, which I haven't done in 20 something years. Yeah, it's me neither. 1995, I believe, was might the last been, time I here and went on rides. It might have been like the 80s, the last time I did it. So, here we go. Now on your left hand side is stage 14. A lot of scenes from Bel Air have been filmed in there. Also, 
NBC's Superstore has filmed some scenes in there. Jungle, so keep an eye out for your personal belongings. We really put a lot of thought into the character and personality of Paul. He's so much more than a monster. In fact, he's not a monster. You know, he is an incredibly majestic, ancient creature. He's a force of nature. section that was kind of fun except for I kind of took a shower. <laughs> it's a lot of water spray. <laughs> It's my personal favorite because Fry's Electronics was an actual store that's no longer in existence. It's a throwback, you know, it's like seeing a, a Circuit City or a Blockbuster. <laughs> but they're actually painted to look like metal and are made of mostly plywood, like our Metropolitan sets. But coming up on your left is the mobile lab that was used in the Lost World Jurassic Park featuring Julianne Moore, Jeff Goldblum, and Vince Vaughn. Also, these cages look a little empty. Whoa! That's why! Okay, car two, car three, car four, be prepared the dinosaurs are all <laughs> a romantic sequel, romantic, an action sequence more intense. However, we can't rely on Mother Nature to have rain fall on you, so we have to create it. And we use the advanced technology of sprinklers to sprout the water into the air to have it fall on the ground naturally. Now this area here is called Old Mexico. Really prone to flash floods, so we gotta be careful. So remember to remain seated at all times, arms and legs in the vehicle. Now lighting can work not just for lightning, but it helps capture that rain successfully on the camera by illuminating the water. Now sound for thunder will be added after filming in post-production. And you can tie all of those elements together, it creates the perfect rain scene. Oh, looks like we're a little bit of a flash of blood. Nothing to worry about, it's just water. A lot of it.
recognize it from Loki the Vampire Slayer, or Angel starring David Boreanaz, or in Roger and Hammerstein, Cinderella starring Whitney Houston and Brandy. You may also recognize it as The Good Place. But as a reminder, to remain seated, arms and legs on the vehicle at all times. I am not foreshadowing anything. But it looks like we're in a subway station. In San Francisco, there's a one for the San Francisco posters to the right here. I'm also seeing some pay phones. I haven't really seen pay phones out in the world in a while. Are they in San Francisco still? I'm not sure. safety, make sure to remain seated, arms and legs in the vehicle at all times. Oh, I like this song. Oh, oh, oh. It's alright, our police every George is out there. Oh, there he is. He'll take care of us. original psycho house. Now that's an example of a facade. It's just a shell of a building, nothing going on on the inside. Oh my and the, uh, oh. Uh, don't worry everyone, he's just helping a nice woman to her car. And maybe she prefers a trunk so she doesn't get car sick, you know? Been there. Whoa. I don't know what you did, fourth car. On your left is a closer look of our original Psycho House. From one scary world to another, we're entering the War of the World set from the film War of the World, starring Tom Cruise and Dakota Fanning. Oh, that is a real 747 Boeing plane, broken into several pieces, and then moved to the place by flatbed trucks. The 
houses on the right were modeled after a real neighborhood in New Jersey. Now, there was a Boeing logo on the plane, but it was smeared off because Boeing didn't want to be associated with a plane. This is our secret spot where we like to hang out. And then we'll wrap up the tour. But just a friendly reminder, because it does get a little rowdy in here, to remain seated at all times, arms and legs in the vehicle at all times. And although we are feeling, you may need those 3D glasses, so have those ready. really cool stuff awesome 3d screens what the heck yeah they've changed up a bunch of stuff since I last did it 20 something years ago yeah it's a lot of fun like 45 minutes long check out all sorts of stuff very cool mm -hmm. all right the kids want to go to Nintendo World and so do we the big kids want to go to Nintendo World as well so we're going down to the lower lot let's do it let's go. It's actually really cool. They did a great job. So cute! This is immersive. Wow. And I guess you need reservations, and fortunately for us, a member of our group did it for us. I had no idea that that was even happening. And we're in, even though outside it says it's full for the day. So let's get some food. I'm in love. We got the Starflower spaghetti and meatballs and the Luigi burger, which is a chicken sandwich with pesto. Let's give this burger a try. It's a chicken sandwich on a bun with a cheese on the chicken and a bell pepper and some arugula and a creamy pesto sauce. This is super adorable and it even has a mustache on top. How's that Mario burger? Delicious. <laughs> nice. It's so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat it? Take a bite. <laughs> yes. No, I'll pick up the whole thing. And he's gone. <laughs> no, no cupcake review. Sorry. <laughs> Challenge with the Bowser Challenge. We're so old, we don't know the names of anything. What is this called? 
but this is really cool and really well done so far and it's beautiful. There was a line that was like an hour and a half earlier. I think it's going to be about 45 minutes for us. So we're about halfway, I think. visor thing. I don't know what it's for. I have no idea what we're about to do. Yeah. Race. I guess we're racing. A few moments later. What'd you think? Dude, that was so much fun. I just, I wish I'd have paid a little more attention beforehand and known exactly what you were trying to do. Somebody done a lot better. I got 140 points, which was way better than anybody else. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Highest today was 250. Like Mario Kart in real life. If I had a second chance at it, I'd probably do a whole lot better. It was a lot of fun though. All right, we're exiting Mario Land for one last stop on our way out. This is at 7 tonight, so kind of early, but uh, we had time to squeeze in one more ride. What is this? Where are we? And why? <laughs> we are in Hogsmeade, and the... Why? Because you're a Harry Potter nerd? Yes, because I'm a Harry Potter nerd, and I love it. And <laughs> we are on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Adventure. We're in line. Well, we will be on it in about 55 minutes. Yeah. Hopefully it's cool. Yeah. A few moments later. What'd you think, Harry Potter? I loved it. I thought it was great. I think they did a real good job. I'm just finding out that apparently with the Simpsons ride and this one, these like motion weird like screen rides where the thing you're on moves around and there's a screen in front of you. My body just doesn't love it. I never used to get motion sickness, and I, you know, I, I don't know if it's motion sickness. I just feel nauseous. I guess. I guess it's motion sickness. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Didn't didn't love it. I think they did a good job, but I didn't love it. I wouldn't do it again personally. But uh, I had a pretty good day today. What about you? Yeah, this was so much fun. It's kind of a bummer that close at seven today. They usually close at like nine or ten or eight most nights, and it's seven today. And there's a lot of teenagers. It's uh, yeah. eighth grade graduation for like a million schools today. Yeah, so oh, well. a lot of screaming, a lot of running, a lot of a lot of craziness. But uh, had a fun time, all told. Yeah, for sure. The Mario stuff, very fun. That wraps up this trip to Universal Studios. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, we really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a ton. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one.